The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. A common problem in Neatline is the overlapping of uh, multiple records on the timeline with the timeline markers. This happens when a number of records are added that overlap each other in time in some way. We can move our browser up and down a little bit to see how that changes with the change of the browser window. But there are other things that we can do to try to mediate. First, we can go to Plugins in our Editor's menu and navigate to Simile Timeline. Remember here we've already set a default date and we've selected our interval units. The bottom three text boxes, however, we have not customized. Now that I have multiple Neatline records in my timeline, I can go into this plugins area and modify these settings a bit to try to make everything fit above the timeline markers. First I might try making my interval pixels a little bit wider, so I'll double them. And that seems to help somewhat, but we still have uh, quite a bit of overlap. I might try uh, changing the track height and the tape height. So the track height is the overall height of a record that's listed in uh, the Neatline timeline. The tape is the ribbon that runs along the timeline, that colored piece of ribbon, and the track includes both the tape and the text. So if I modify the tape height first, it's automatically sent, set to 10 pixels, in width. I might make this 5 and save. That makes the tape thinner. Then I can come to track height and I can modify that overall uh, height. So maybe I'll make it 20 and save and see how now my events in the timeline are becoming a little bit more scrunched together. I could make my tape height a little bit thinner even and maybe the track height just slightly. There we go. So now my neat line records appear above the markers. If this continues to be a problem, uh, you might consider uh, also fiddling with the interval unit if to see if that may help. So if I change to year specifically, how does that change my timeline? right? Uh, and now I've changed to year, but maybe I don't like that things are so spread out, so I could go back to interval pixels and maybe go back to 100 and save. And I still have a little bit more space now. This customization will be specific to every project, so take time to uh, try out these different settings and figure out what works best for your project.